I'm back. I'm back, y'all. I am back with another video. This is another day that God has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Because what? He didn't have to wake us up this morning, but he did. Allowing us another chance to get it right. And I am so glad. Thank you, Lord, to get myself, yourself together before he comes. The day is Monday, very beautiful Monday. The sun is shining outside. The wind is blowing. I am going to the eye doctor today, around about 3.30 and stuff, to see, I get to follow up on these glasses. I think I see better out of my reading glasses, but... To God be the glory, give him all the honor, give him all the praise, no matter what. I'm just going to come to you a little bit about the Bible overview. This is the overview of the Bible, and it's an overview about Revelation, telling you the reason for the book. Revelation, people are so scared of Revelation, but it's no need to be scared. He just giving you uh, overview of what is going to come, what is going to happen. Being God people. The book of Revelation presents a complex of God plans for the world. Oh, hallelujah. Evil started with the devil. Started with Satan and all of his agents. Yeah, the devil got a little agent running to and for people working for the devil just here just to get on your nerve and just to take you through heartaches and pain. Yes, he got some little agents. They will be destroyed. He telling you that they will be destroyed. God will judge all who were set against him and claim glory and authorities for themselves as if they were divine. False prophecies, teachers, preachers, evangelists, you know, anybody that would set up and claim victory for themselves and not giving the glory and the honor to God, he is going to judge them people. When people come against you and do all manner of things because you're serving the Lord and you know you're serving the Lord and you know that's your calling that God had called you to do and not setting up and want people to look at you, to put you on a high pedestal, God is coming to judge the people that do that. Want man, woman, boy, girl to worship them. All these false prophets, I just cannot say enough about that. They in the world. The devil is using them. Say God has called them to do one thing, and God hasn't called them to do anything. They doing it for their own glory and pleasure. He just uncovering so many of them now. And then people is still in disbelief. You know why? Because they don't know the word. They are not in the word. They don't have a relationship with God. So their eyes are still blinded. Even though they open, they can't see. They ill. They got ill, but they can't hear. But when you know and you find out, that they are false and they are not of God. You supposed to not follow them, flee from them. Get in the word to know your word for yourself. You got the same, the same authorities that they got. God loves us all. He, that's why He left the word with for us, cause He wants us to get in. The word blessed is a man that is in the word of God. When you get in this word, God is going to talk to you. You're going to see him in here. The things that are going on, you're going to see them. So don't be scared of the book of Revelation. He is going to judge those that doing it for them, their glory and not his. It says, Jesus who died in humility for our sin of the world. Resurrected with power and ascended 
in glory, return as a victorious king to claim what has already been his. Coming back to claim what is already his in a way. Come back to reclaim it. So your salvation already belongs to the Lord. So, hey, I want it now before he come and give me. I just want to be right. I want to do right. I want to love like Jesus loved. I want to humble myself down. Even when people misuse me, they talk about me. I know that Jesus will protect me and he is with me even to the end of time. Because you know what? I belong to him. You belong to him. He is our father. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. He's coming back to claim what's already here. Judge all people and restore his creation. Because right now it's all out of whack. Everybody, some people is following the wrong people. Some of us has got it together because we in the word. We got a relationship with God. We are trying to save the unsaved folk, to bring them over to the Lord. It's not us. We just got a tongue. We let God do the, all the talking and the speaking through us. So it is not us. It is him that lives down within us to tell you that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh to the Father but through the Son shall be saved. Don't you want to be saved? Don't you want to know Jesus? When you get in trouble, don't you want to call on him? He'll be right there. Just call on him. Okay. He's coming back to restore his creation. The book of Revelation is not just a book of comfort, comfort for those who suffer. It is also a book of guiding. You can read this book. This book will guide you along the way. When you're down and now you read this book, it's going to screen you and it's going to lift up your spirit. All you got to do is read it. Oh, hallelujah. It's like the North Star that guides ships. The book of Revelation gives us to the brightest star of all. That's Jesus, the Lamb who gave his life, who gave his life for us and the king who claims his throne of victory and righteousness. Come to claim his throne. He already done. Went to, went to hell, got the key. He got the key. Victory is already his. Victory is mine. Victory is yours. God got the victory over anything the devil can do. Jesus in Revelation. In this version of of heaven, John see Jesus as he is. John see Jesus as he is. The ascended and glorified Lord who is worthy in all worship and praise. God has the authority over all things. Never think that you're in control God has got control over all things. Never think that the people on your job is so in control. Yeah, they is. But God has got control over them. He's in control over everything. When you misuse somebody, know that God sees you. And he's not going to allow you to keep misusing his people. Know that you got a little power, but the only power you got is the power that God allow you to have. The only power the devil got is what God allow him to have. He can stop it. He can allow it at any time. 
So do good regardless of what. Because God is in control over everything. He got authorities over, including Satan and death. But just say he got control over Satan. So whatever the devil put up on you, know that God can deliver, can wash you clean, clean you up. He can heal you. He can do whatever you need for him to do. All you got to do is have enough faith to know that he can do it because he know all about you. He know what you have need of before you even ask for it. He know all the the hairs on this head of mine. Y'all mess my hair up. He know every scream a hair on this head. He know what I'm going to go through before I go through it. He know what I'm going to say before I'm, I say it. So don't think ill of no one and thinking God don't know it. He knows everything about you. He know he made me. So he know more about me than I know about myself. He know when things going to happen before I know it. Oh, hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. So he has authorities over everything, including Salem and death. He has control over death. So don't go say, well, the devil took my life. He killed me. He didn't give a life, so he can't take it. We all got an appointed time to leave here. For the day you was born, you had a day to die. This is not our home. So when your loved one go on home, I ain't going to say don't cry because God honor tears. Jesus will. But don't get messed up over saying, well, you know, you can't go on because they gone on. They gone on to be with the Lord, going back to be with him. A better place. Are we going to miss them? Yes, we going to miss them. Of course, God give them to us. He give us our mother, our father, our brother, sister, our children. He give us our cousin, our nephew, our nieces. He give us all that. You in a family that God has already ordained you to be in. Remember that. So don't go around saying, I don't want to be in this family, this family, this and that. God got a purpose and a reason for what he do. So you in that family for a reason. Just know that your life was already destined from the beginning of time before you were placed in your mother's womb because we first was up there with him. Now, he done, we down here. But then, when that last breath, leave that body, goes back to the Father which has given him. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope that helps someone because it helped me when he came and got my son. First of all, he was his son first, and he allowed me 18 years with my son, 18 years and nine months, to raise him up the way that the Bible, that he would have him to go. Teach your children when they're down there, little bitty kids. Bring them up in the Word. Bring them up knowing that God is good. Bring them up telling them that Jesus died for our sin. Bring them up saying Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. They may scray away. That's what the Bible say. But they'll come back. I scrayed away. But I came back. Because I had the word in me. I got to know and got old enough to know, to know better. When God bought me out, he bought me out. He would do the same for you. Nothing in the world but the world. Come on back home to Jesus. Um, His arm is open wide. Nothing is too hard for God. He forgive us all our sin. Don't let nobody tell you that he don't forgive you for doing this and doing He forgive us all. But there are consequences to what we do. But hey, God is still with us. We can make it. We can go through it. God is a good God, a just God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, his judgment is righteous and just. He promised to give rest 
and peace to his followers will be fulfilled in the new heaven and the new earth. Oh, hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. I pray that this helps somebody. Because you know what? It helped it me. When I read this, I just picked this up last night. And I said, this overview of the Bible. Because I love the book of Revelation. I love to know when he's coming back. You know, the things that I need to look for. I mean, things that going to happen before he come back. A lot of that stuff is already happening. False prophets have been out here in the world deceiving God, people, if you would allow them to. He said if it was possible, we'd fool some of my very elect. The very elect folks. So you know it's going to be some people. We got to look at one thing. We want to be rich. We want, we want fame and fortune. Jesus was born he was born in a barn. Mary put him, they put him in a manger. A manger is a trait that they put food in to feed the animals. Jesus didn't have a ride. Jesus walked it two and four, teaching and preaching the word, saving souls, calling out demons. The biggest ride he had was on a boat when he got in the boat with the disciples. And, and he had to prove a point then. He was down there asleep and try to test their faith when the storm and the wind blew. Jesus wasn't rich. We all want to be rich. We all want fame and fortune. But what is we willing to do to get it, to sell our souls to the devil? You have to look at one thing. Yes, you pay tithes and often. That's, that's, that's giving you. You're you paying out a willful heart. Or what are you just paying giving? Giving however God bless you to give. Because he'll put down in your heart what he wants you to give and what he wants you to do. But you just got so many people... I got to say it, so many bishop, preachers, teachers, they already got one home, but they got to have a home in Georgia. They got to have another home in New York. They got, to, they got to have four or five houses. Why? When you got some of your members ain't got no home, they're outside, or they still rent. And you don't bought yours. You did. Some of them got to have four or five vehicles. And you got some of your members walking to church. Put a big burden on your members. You got some of them got one jet. They want another jet. All this ain't God. If you can find all this in the word. Where you tell me in this Bible. Where it says. Your leader should have six and seven houses, one and two houses, four and five cars. They got to have jets going over here and going over there. Y'all let me know. I'm going by the word. So the more you give some of them, the more they want. We got some true men and women of God that all they want to do is teach God's word. Be about God's business. Because they're going to be judged. We all going to be judged. But they're going to be judged by a higher measure. So whatever you do, for God, let it be real. I'm over here teaching the word. We're learning together. I don't know everything. That's why I be on there. I'm active to learn things that I don't know. But I thank God for a discerning spirit to know when you're teaching right or wrong. I know we all want to live, live a good life, nice home, nice car. That's understandable. If you work hard, you get whatever you want. But when you get down and burn God people down, where that you gotta have this and you gotta have that, and then when people un when they get uncovered, now you're mad with the people because they're talking about them. God sees and knows everything. 
And I just don't believe that God would have skilled one person 10 11 houses unless you work for them. You can get what you want to do. You can buy whatever you want. When you work hard, reward is coming. But when you're depending on somebody else to take care of you, know your members, preachers, teachers. Know your members. If you over a flock of people that God is letting you lead his little lambs, his little precious lamb, do it. Grace of God and do it out of love. Know what they need. You got The more you bless people, the more God will bless you. You see some of your members walking, get them a bus. Take a bus. You see that they need something? It is supposed to be about helping one another, knowing who in need. Get to know the people that God has placed you over. You got four, five church. You can't know all them people. You got 3,000, 4,000 people. You cannot know all us. I'm sorry. I'm just telling it like it is. Don't know all of us. So don't get mad with me. Read the word. Read the word of God. Nothing wrong with being a big ministry. But know your people that God has placed you over. Because they coming in the house of the Lord to learn the word, to hear a word from God. And they might not even have nowhere to stay. They're staying outside. And if you got them men, you don't know if they're staying outside or not. If I give two pennies, and I, like the lady in the Bible, give that, and I give this out of my heart, and that's all I got, God honors that. So you got to honor that. Don't make nobody feel bad because they don't have. And some people tell people, if you don't have, you're not saved. <laughs> really? Really? He said the poor will be with you always, even until the end of time. He honor poor. But if you see what you can help, you supposed to help. Now, I'm through with that, but that's revelation, you all. I love revelation. Revelation would break it down. Tell you about the false prophet. Jesus is coming. He is coming, y'all. He's coming. Get your house in order. Don't be fake. Just start being real. And stop following these people that's not following God. If you don't know, you're going to follow them. Hey, it's not my job to put nobody in heaven or hell. It's not my job to judge but if you find in this Bible, do you know the righteous people is going to be judging people? I can't judge sinners. But when I know a person that claimed to be a leader, a person that's that doing God, God will, oh, yeah, he gave me a discerning spirit. I ain't got to follow you because, I, I mean, I mean, it say call them out. But I ain't got to follow you, follow you. I ain't got to call you out. Because God going to uncover you, and he going to call you out. He get tired when you get through misusing God. Folks, You gonna get. he going to get tired. He get tired like we get tired. Leaders on your job, he going to get tired. He look down at you. You started doing people wrong over and over again. Sometimes people just step up for the money. But step up because God had blessed you and allowed you to run your job and do it to your best of your knowledge and treat people right. Treat them right. Too many people's own job misusing folk, talking to them any kind of way, and they say they are Christian. And the Bible speak about love, humming yourself down like a child. Come on, y'all. We got to get it right. Let's get it right before Jesus come. I don't want him to come to catch my work ain't done or I'm doing something I ain't got no business to be doing. I try to let my light shine where men can see good works and see God through me. But going to work every day is an uphill battle. But we got to 
call on Jesus, pray, pray for them wherever they need praying in. God will work it out. He'll work it out. Y'all, my stomach just growling. I haven't ate anything, but I'm going to have to do better on that. But now that is all I came to say. I say again, welcome all my new subscribers. This is Miss JoJo, and I got a little gang. I mean, they teaching and preaching the word of God. They, like they crafting, they knitting, they sewing, they cooking. Anything that you want to know about, oh, they got it on here. Y'all go and check all each other out, my other subscribers out. And stuff. So God be the glory. I thank you all for rocking with me. Thank you all for coming by, visiting me. Thank you all for listening to me. Whether you listen to five minutes, ten minutes, or listen to the whole video, you ain't got to do even come over here. But I thank you that you do. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, go ahead on subscribe to the channel. It's free if you want to. I ain't pressuring you. But I came to say that Jesus loves you so, so much. And so do I. And with that being said, y'all be good. I will see you on the next video. And I am out.